Hello, you guys. It is me, Moore, here with some tarot tea. I'm going to do a blackout. It's Friday, and I'm in my mood, okay? So somebody here is in a mood. I want to start off by saying my prayer, and I want to also start off by saying I do not own the rights to the music in the background. That is YouTube playing. Dear Divine Creative Source of Everything, I thank you for the opportunity to connect with you through these cards. I call upon Archangel Michael, the Divine Spirit of Life, and my beloved ancestors as I go within the tarot to give you guys clear, honest, and accurate messages. So, right off the bat, I already had some channeled messages that I wrote down before I even decided to pull cards or to even do a reading. But intuitively, I got... Oh, okay, so somebody's wondering why are you acting like this. Anyways, someone here is um, planning to be ruthless with you. This is a ruthless plot of revenge. Like, somebody here, you're not going to be able to believe your eyes like you're gonna be tongue-tied that's how treacherous this goes also i channel ancestral beef iconic legend and then you're not gonna see something coming this could be good or bad i also channeled eternal love and ancestral gifts with this being said i feel like you or one of your children is gonna be an iconic legend not only that, your ancestors and someone that, you know, that is the mate to your soul has eternal love for you. I feel like each lifetime that you guys have reincarnated has been more and more challenging, okay? But I feel like somebody here is getting close to completing a cycle, okay? I also feel like somebody here, they feel some type of way towards you because maybe somebody here has inherited ancestral money like they have the riches but you have actual spiritual gifts okay that's what i got from that let's go ahead and get started oh on the bottom of the deck is soulmates hmm. something is significant to the 14th something can be significant to when you were 14 these are going to be, you know, messages of closure. This could be whatever comes out. This could also be past life energy. Remember, tarot is past, present, or future energy. Clear, honest, and accurate messages. Healing. Okay. So something is significant to the 21st. Also, look up the angel number 1421. This could be an address, or this could be, you know, something was significant to this time frame. One of your ancestors was born in 1421. You were a healer, or they were. Hmm. Somebody was a specialist at something. Father and home. Interesting. Somebody's going to tell you why. Or your father, if he's no longer here, he's a guide to you. Not a god. Like G-O-D, but a guide, G-U-I-D-E. Somebody, father, is guiding them through something beyond the grave. Somebody is being led home to themselves. Like your, your body is your home. Somebody is teaching you how to light your fire. Or passing the torch. Something is significant to someone's home that they grew up in i also feel like somebody here has an old photo of someone that is an ancestor to you maybe old letters like birthday um cards things of that sort or somebody here actually have letters or a book of something this could be a recipe this could be actual knowledge like tools to something. Somebody here also has an artificial heart in this situation. It's never a right time to say goodbye, Chris Brown victim consciousness in reverse and okay so something is definitely significant to the 12th this can oh 21 12 look that up so 
something that's also significant to 2012 and 2014. Also something that's significant to 2021. Procrastination in reverse. Orphaning. I said orphaning, I'm sorry. Orphan. Somebody here was adopted. Or you're going to find out that you're adopted. Sadness and biblical. How do you let it go? When I mean, you just don't know what's on the other side of the door. I feel like somebody here is fulfilling a prophecy. I feel like somebody here... Somebody feels all alone. Or somebody likes to be alone because this is how they feel safe. Somebody feels outcasted or has been outcasted, even if you don't feel like you have been. Look for a sign. Wow. There is like some type of lightning that is about to strike someone's life. Like, I feel like this is a tower moment. You know we should be apart. Somebody just can't do it. Listen to your heart. It's up to you, though. Clear, honest, and accurate messages. So there's a lot of angels on these cards. I feel like there's a lot of archangels. There's a lot of avenging angels. There's a lot of, you know, godly angels. I also feel like there's dark angels that is taking over a situation as well. I know I said that before, but this is like a um like a hev well, I'll just use it in this sense, a heaven and a hell collaboration to take down the the common enemy. There we go. In the near future. Wow, a year from now on the bottom of the deck. So something is significant to a year from now. Something is also significant to 8-8, eight, eight, which is the Lion's Gate portal. Ooh, okay, success. Peaceful resolution. There's going to be a peaceful resolution by August 21st. Big happy changes, didn't I say? This is why you're in a waiting period, or you have been in a waiting period. Because something had to be, oh, because a spell had to be broken. This could be a generational spell. This could even be just a spell that somebody tried to place on you or kept trying to do to you within the next few weeks. Be a service. Yeah. Something is significant to your romantic life. I feel like... There's about to be an abundant exchange. Oh, and it says, ask your angels. You have been asking your angels about something or someone. And I feel like all of your wishes are about to be granted, y'all. This is beautiful. Clear, honest, and accurate messages. Let me move these ones out the way. I also feel like somebody here is going to be a foster mom. With this orphan card, or you had a foster mom. Or something is significant to your foster mom. The world tree. Somebody is not going to have to ask twice. Or they don't want to have to ask you twice. Somebody is tired of being in these streets. There's a snake on this card. And it's black. And this is also 21. So something is significant to 2121. Look up that angel number. I feel like somebody here, something is significant to when you were 21. I also feel like something is buried under a tree.
there's a twin flame union that is about to reap the harvest in a major way. I feel like somebody here has been doing like energy work, spell work on a twin flame journey or a union. Or this could be somebody that's trying to harvest the energy from twin flames. You have been, you're, like your crown is secure. You have proven your, your spot, the sun. You could be a Leo. Anywhere in your birth chart. Something is significant to the 19th as well. Something is going to be very long-lasting. Like, there's longevity in whatever it is that you are putting your time and energy into. And I feel like this is like a partnership. This could be a business partnership. It does not have to be an actual relationship. But it could grow into something that is romantic. Four 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 is here. Something is significant to like collectibles. Someone here has a turtle. Someone here likes purple flowers. Well, purple is your favorite color. The horn god. Okay. Somebody is making sacrifices with animals like snakes, birds, um, deers, probably even children and humans. I also feel like somebody's going to have a, a goddess baby. Somebody here wants you to be their baby's godmom or godfather, but that's not what I was saying when I said a goddess baby. Um, um, crystal alkaline goddess, she's a fertility goddess, the oak king. Okay, interesting. So somebody here is having infertility problems or somebody is trying to project infertility problems onto someone. They're trying to make sure that you don't be able to birth anything in your life. Not children, not finances, not a, a solid foundation, not a love or a, a, yeah, a loving connection, I'll say. This person wants you to stay at the four of pentacles your whole life. Like repetitively losing jobs, cars, houses, loved ones. Lovers, children. I feel like somebody here is going to see a bluebird. This is going to be um, a message from your spirit baby to let you know that they are close to you. Or this could be a baby that you lost. So this is an angel baby. Yeah, somebody here has been juggling too many things for far too long on their own because yeah like i said this was a generational curse the tower is here though i feel like your energy is so powerful that when somebody thought that they were waving their magical wand to like i don't know what they thought they was doing but they clearly didn't get the message but they're about to I feel like God is about to show somebody that, okay, the the um, Holy King did come out. So, like I said, somebody is about to be, God is about to prove that he is king, basically is what I heard. I don't like this energy. I can't even get my words out. Somebody is trying to do throat chakra magic. They're trying to do all types of magic. Like, somebody is trying to master you, like, over, I mean, yeah, overpower you. They want to take away your free will. Wow. So let's let's look. The tower is here. And you hear those um sirens, right? So somebody is using water deities and things of that sort as well. Somebody here can also be given um 
offerings to some type of witch doctor. Because the oak king here is here and the holy king is here. So we're going to see who comes out on top. 18, 18 on the clock. Oh no, I'm blonde as hell. <laughs> but hey, in my mind's eye, that's what I saw. So, so something is significant to 1818. 18. This could be the year 1818, 18, or this could be wow. Wow. I see three tombstones on this card, y'all. Yeah, this ain't going to end well for somebody. There's going to be a death of three people. This could be in your family or three people that you know of. This could also be three of your ancestors rising up to fight a spiritual battle with and for you. Because of all of this that has been going on behind your back. Yeah, five of... Penalty. Somebody here, they know how to shape shift really well. Somebody is also a reptilian. Or somebody here knows a lot about like esoteric knowledge, things of that sort. Wow. And the, the Lord of the Shadows is on the bottom of the deck. So that's three different type of kings. The Holy King, the Oak King, and the Holy uh the Lord of Shadows. Wow. So somebody here could be using three different deities is another thing that I'm getting. There could be a group of three or more that is trying to defeat you. So in that case, this could be a coven. Let's get some names here. I'm making some accurate names. Clear, honest, and accurate names. Oh, wow. Whatever. Yo, it ain't like I'm doing nothing else. I can read these names. <laughs> I decided to pull my energy back from, like, social media and such. So, somebody here could be going on a social media detox soon. Somebody also could be switching up the tempo altogether, changing the way they do things, changing the way they live, changing the way they look, changing the way they dress, changing the way they look at life. And respond to life. Done. This could be first, middle, or last names. So Dunn, Harvey, Elliot, Ava, Ken, Crockett, Isaiah, Joan, Missy, Lewis, Wow. <laughs> I know y'all hear that song in the background. <laughs> Jordan, the neighbors is going to know somebody's name. Donald, Roslyn, Tariana, Campbell, Knowles, Sharon, Chastity, Bland, Bishop, joy what i got with that bishop card um this could be a bishop it doesn't have to be his name is bishop keith christian fraser they finna call somebody the problem solver diane salone spelled s l o a n gillum spelled g i l l i a m Dorothy, Lorenzo, Maccabee, Riley, Bobby, Tony, Kiera, Cootie, Malik, Jason, Ford, Carter, Alicia, Ware, Amari, Mundane, England, Lot, Wow, England is out here twice. I didn't even know I had that in this deck twice. So something is significant to England. Somebody's last name is England. 
Irene, Nunn, Lampkin, Tanisha, Andrew, McKinley, Mario, Manning, Leisha, Antoinette, Eugene, Miracle, Noel, Davenport, Gravit, Sierra, Tierra. I think Sierra already came out. So Sierra is out here twice. May, Cook, Chad, and the last name out is Fisher. Thanks for watching.